Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with yet another video effect from AVS Video Editor Tutorial. Today we are going to focus on the glass video effect. So, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a nice, clean, clear video effect. Uh, what do we got here? What do we got? No, let's just... Let's... No, no. Okay, let's just stop messing around here. Let's just grab this. And let's go ahead and take a look at our glass video effect. This is an effect I rarely use just because it's just odd. And it is exactly what it says. It's glass. I notice when right away the default setting of it, it makes this blurry noise effect on it. When you increase the level of it, it just makes it more pixelated, more dirty, and just less clean in the entire video. Of course, you have your mask options here, your regular on all video effects pretty much. And the level goes all the way up to 15, and when it's at 1, you can barely see traces of it, but it's still there. Again, not that interesting. Kind of self-explanatory with what you can do with it. And again, the fade-in, uh, pretty cool actually, the fade-in. What it does is it, it starts with level 1, and it increases all the way to whatever level you're at. So let's just say we're at 15, and it will fade in, slowly fade into the level 15, and the same with the fade out as well. So again, a pretty easy, pretty quick uh, video effect here. Just makes it more blurry. The frame rate of the actual video does not decrease. However, the video itself looks more pixelated, looks more dirty, and it, you can just kind of see it for yourself. Again, I don't use this very much just because the way it looks, it just doesn't appeal to me. I can't really apply it to anything that I'm using, so uh, there you have it. Kind of short video, but that was the glass video effect. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I have plenty more video effects to come. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.